On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, we have some major updates on the progress of the Airplane Factory version 1.0. Coming up. All right, folks, we're back at it here, but we're going to be taking a, a short break while I head back out on the road and uh, haul some loads and make some money. Now that the truck is finally back out of the shop from a clutch replacement, but we have some major updates here. It's kind of looking a little bit like a jail, and I, I, I didn't get this on video, but I did get the, uh, the progress leading up to this that I will edit after we get back from Oshkosh. So this is just a short, quick update, uh, but we did have some time with the fam uh, while I was home. Um, I'll, I'll, up, I'll put together a little, my, 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 little, my little one, Madeline, not this one, this is Serena, my, <laughs> with her dino mask. I, that, that thing cracks me up every time. But my littlest one, Madeline, she can be just as funny as Silly Serena here. And check this out. I had a new subscriber ask me a, a question on a previous video, and it was very, very good one, so thank you very much. But the question was, what is the square footage required to build an RV-10? Very good question. There is none. There is no requirement for square footage to build an RV-10. However, when I took a look at the plans, at the, at the, the size for each part, namely the fuselage kit, the empennage kit, which is the very first kit that you start with because that's where the serial number for the plane is, and also the size for the wings, I figured that I could get by with eight foot wide by 16 foot long for the, fus for the, the empennage kit here, and then across the street, my wife and I purchased Oh, and a vacant lot where we'll put a house on it and I'll build Airplane Factory version 2.0. The reason why I chose those dimensions is because here in Abilene, Texas, they have a section of the building code that says that if a structure is a temporary structure, which technically this is not because I've got it anchored, and it is under 200 square foot, I don't need a building permit. So I'm going to, you know, that, that was where, that was my starting point. And I figured with the size of the, the empennage kit, I could get away with building that here. And while I'm building the empennage kit, the tail kit here, I can start stacking cash and putting you know, for the house and the airplane factory version 2.0 across the street. So thank you very much. And by the way, like I said, I don't bite, at least not hard, unless you really want me to. <laughs> but, but you know, leave a comment down below just to give you a little bit of a scope and size of this. Eight foot wide by 16 foot deep by well, seven foot tall uh, for the for the studs, which and uh, interior space will be sufficient enough to build at least the tail kit, at least the tail. And of course, I've got my window framed here. This is how we did this, and. Uh, here, I'll show you this in a second. But uh, I got the window in. I wanted the window, not just for some light, but for some air conditioning. It's Texas. It's hot. It's like, it, it can get, uh, you know, Hades hot down here. But yeah, it, that's, that's where we're at right now. But uh, we're getting ready to hit the road. We'll be traveling to California. 
picking up in San Antonio, traveling to California, finaling on this load in uh, the Portland area. Uh, and then we're going to spend 4th of July in Salt Lake City. So with that, yeah, as always, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, if you choose to not hit the like button and hit the dislike button, leave a comment down below and tell me why. What can I do to improve? Uh, I mean, if you're just looking at, at things uh, simply on looks alone, uh, I don't know if it's my personal looks or the channel. Uh, the channel, uh, you just don't like content like this. That's okay if you don't like content. Uh, but if you, yeah, just don't watch it. But either way, it doesn't affect me. You know, I, I quit thinking about... Uh, you know the reasons why people don't like me a long time ago I don't care really but uh, either way if you do like content like this please hit the like button it really does help the channel it does uh, tell the YouTube algorithm that uh, this con this video needs to be shared with as many people as they as uh, uh, possible and it also yeah, uh, gets the word out about this bill that we're coming up, that we're getting ready to do. So with that, it's time to hit the road. As always, I love you. Thank you. I'm very appreciated uh, by your continued wa uh, support and subscribing the, to the channel. And I wish you nothing but the best. Remember, peace, love, and always check your six.